What if the thing that bonds you is the thing that breaks you too? Until Iraq, I didn't fully understand how he felt, but now I do. If I can't help them, if I'm not helping them, what am I supposed to do? I am a woman who followed a soldier. I know what it is to leave. I do not know how to be the person who is left behind. The day he told me he was leaving, we were on top of Radwaniya Palace. The deployment date sits between us like an hourglass, our moments slipping through its sweeping glass curves. We navigate our way around it to reach each other. I press my back against the wall, sucking in my breath and taking tiny steps. The war needs him, or he needs the war. I am not sure which. When he came home, he brought back sand. Not fine white sand from the beach, or colorful sand in a bottle with my name. Dirty sand, dusty sand. There are moments of war that you keep to yourself in the hope of protecting those you love. These are not lies, but omissions. Of course, there is no protecting them really. Sometimes the imagination is worse than reality. We try not to mix life out there with the real world. That way, when you come home, it can't follow you back. At least that's what we tell ourselves. Iraq has invaded. The space between us has been occupied.